Hey guys, the objectives of this video is to look at both a normally and over consolidated example where we're going to be finding the final voids ratio. Okay, so if we've gone back to our diagram in the first video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going along this line here, we're going to get to our pre consolidated stress, and then we're going to go along this line here. Okay, so we're combining both the over consolidated and the normally consolidated. So this line and this line. So the way this would happen is that in the question they would give us some values like this sigma i dash equals 20 sigma final dash equals 100 and sigma pc dash equals say 50 okay so if we were to draw this you can see now that our pre-consolidated stress is between the initial and final whereas in the other examples um, in, the, in the first example so in the normally in the over consolidated example Sigma PC was the maximum, so it was larger than both of them. Um, in the previous video's example, Sigma PC was smaller than both our values, but now Sigma PC is between our values. Okay, so what that's going to do to our graph is from Sigma I to PC, so from here to here. Sigma I dash and Sigma PC dash. So that is this branch here from our graph. Okay, so that is the over consolidated branch. So this is over consolidated. And now we're going to go at our PC, at our Sigma PC, we're going to become normally consolidated.